What is going on you guys? We are here, same river, different spot. Um, and we are gonna try to, this morning catch some topwater bass, this afternoon, whatever they'll eat. We're gonna try the Ned Rig, we're gonna try crankbaits, drink baits, whatever. We're gonna try it all. We don't really have a specific targeted way that we're gonna fish. Uh, Schmitty's gonna definitely fish the mini Texas, uh, the light Texas, and we're, we're gonna see what I'll use. I'm not sure yet, so stay tuned guys. Let's get rigged up and let's hop on the GoPro and slap a bass in the mouth. Mr. Smith is hooked up on that uh, that topwater spook that he got um, in the Lucky Tackle Box. He got that uh, he got that double jointed one and he got a little dinker on it. It's a dinker, but it'll work. Holy smack of dudes! No way! Did you see that thing slap just now? Sorry, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna invade your space here. I'm gonna invade it. So Smitty on the board with number one. Of course, he always catches the first fish of the morning. Every time. Well, that's just not heavy enough. I'm telling you, that's that's not that's no carp. There's no way that's a carp. Another one. Oh, lost him. No, I got him. Still. No, you're still on there. You gotta be kidding me, dude. Dude, they're liking that spook. Oh, that's a good size one. No, that's a freaking. Is it a pike minnow? Yeah. Pike minnow blows it up on the top <laughs> Hey, man. If it works, it works. Yeah, I don't know what the hell. Mr. Smith, show the people what you're fishing with. Look at this. Look at this tiny little weight on this T-Rig. Tungsten, look at that little tiny hook. And that's what they're gulping. Hey, you know what? I haven't caught one and that's like fish number four for you. Yeah, I'm gonna try throwing around the Ned Rig, but okay, I'm gonna try the Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna try right now. Right behind you here. Bitty guys is better than no guys. You know, I still don't know the proper way to fish the Ned Rig. I don't know if you're supposed to fish it like a Texas rig or. Oh, there's a hit. There's one. Hewie. He's a biggin. He is a biggin. Do you think he wanted that or what? Look how he ate that thing. Holy cow. Trying to take him no more. Ooh, dink. Number one. He's a little guy. Let's let you go, buddy. And there he goes. He's full of fire. He's a youngin. He's going back. He's probably a year old, if that. It's insane how slow smallies grow. There it is. Little tinker. Hey, big old bass. Fish number two on the netty. It's probably the same guy that I caught last time. Off he goes. All right, guys, we are gonna hit the ponds now. Fishing slowed down a little bit, but um, we're gonna see if we can't if we can't keep catching them. We have this dang slope I have to get up with all my gear in the camera and try not to break anything so I'll tell you what it ain't the easiest thing to get up this especially 
and some Air Maxes. Um, kind of rough, kind of rough. So let's make it over to the other pond. Hopefully on the way we can get some B-roll for you guys. So we are at Pond X, guys, and it's not looking too hot. Um, let me show you guys. It's just so dang weedy. The water is super low. I mean, it's going to be tough. If we get one, it's going to be tough to pull them out. Um, but we're going to give it a shot before, before we say, eh, hey, let's get out of here. So cue the GoPro footage. How small of a hook do you got? No, no, I mean like small enough to get some bluegill because there's some gill right here. No, not I had a bite. Yeah. Got to get at an angle with this thing because I got 12 pound test. Got one. Jet ski. Nice little largey. Tiny little guy. Tiny little guy. Well, big old large mouth, and I, I'm pretty sure that's a spotted dude. I think that's a spotted bass. But look at this thing. There he goes. Huh. Some big bass baits? I don't know if it's going to be anything we can use here in Oregon. On one. Yeah, I didn't have to do anything. I just kind of sat there with it. Oi. Hold still, bucko. Let me lip ya. Let me let you go. You've been caught before. Dink number four. There he goes. Back into the wilderness. Don't worry, buddy. I ain't a catch and eat type of guy. All right, guys, so we had a little bit of success. I caught two out of here. How many did you get? Two. He's got two out of here, too. Um, I'm thinking that people probably aren't fishing this too much anymore, and so it's the pressure's lightened up. I'm sure after people see this, they're going to probably eat all the fish, but uh, we are going to try one other spot 
one of the one of the other ponds here and then I think after that I'm gonna call it because my my GoPro is dying so stay tuned guys we're gonna walk over there and hopefully smack some largies stay tuned you had a bite And that breeze feels nice. I'm gonna try something pretty risky. Across these weeds. <laughs> That's so risky. No way, do I have a bass? <laughs> yeah! And then I started reeling in and I was like, that feels heavy. Take it easy. Slow down, buddy. Slow down, we'll get you free. Hey, man. I'm just trying to help you out here. He's biting. Get easy, guy. Well, there it is. I think this might have been the guy that jumped. We're going to let you go, buddy. I promise. Off you go. It felt a little heavy. So that's going to be all she wrote. A uh, pretty successful day of fishing. The, be the One of the better days of fishing that I've had this year. Uh, the one other time that we had a better day. I don't think I've had a five-day fish a five fish day and, and quite some time since the other side of pond Y was popping with the small mouth um, but that's gonna be it for today guys like share and subscribe and we will catch you guys on another episode of Spartan Kid Outdoors we'll catch you guys later